Uh, Jamie, and I think Louie had a follow-up, too. Uh, Colonel Garber, it's Jamie McIntyre, and I apologize for, for going over the same ground again, but the, now that I've heard what you said previously and what you just said in answer to Carla's question, I'm a little confused. So I understand fully that you're not speaking for the Russian military and what they may or may not have targeted in Syria. But in answer to Barbara's question, Barbara Starr's question earlier on, you did say uh, that of the three locations the Russians announced that uh, the U.S. did believe that there were um, ISIS or Daesh forces in uh, Del Azur, uh, but you said you saw no concentrations in Aleppo or Idlib. Um, Carlo's question, I think, raised an interesting point was, because the impression that you've left there is that perhaps the Russians were bombing forces that were supported by the United States. Uh, Carla asked the question about the other possibility. Are there concentrations in the Aleppo and Idlib of Nusra, former, the fighters formerly known, known as the Nusra Front, which are, which are not subject to the cessation of hostilities agreement and would, in theory, be legitimate targets for the Russians to strike? So can you say the same thing about those two locations that you said uh, regarding the Daesh forces, uh, regarding the forces that, uh, the militants that were formerly known as al-Nusra? Yeah, I, and I didn't mean to leave any uh, confusion for you, Jamie, and, and, I, and I think uh, our position is relatively clear on this, which is uh, we have seen Daesh forces in Darzar, and as a matter of fact, uh, for, for multiple months, many months since the end of last year, uh, that city has been under, uh, it, it's divided. Daesh is in the city and the Syrian army is in the city. And they've been fighting over that city for quite a long time. Uh, Daesh is in that city, so we, we look to that city. And like I said, we've flown missions in and around Darzar. Uh, we've attacked targets in and around Darzar. And we've certainly attacked a lot of the oil infrastructure as part of Operation Tidal Wave 2. Uh, outside of uh, Darzar and in that area. The other two, uh, the other two cities, Daesh, we don't see concentrations in there and therefore we're not working. I didn't say a thing about whether al-Nusra was in there. What I did specifically say was, we're not fighting al-Nusra. Uh, we are fighting Daesh. And so, uh, you know, there's been plenty of reported about what's going on inside Aleppo. There's been plenty of reported what's going on inside Idlib. Uh, and I'll leave it to the forces that are actually fighting in those areas to talk about that. I know it's not necessarily a satisfying answer, but we're not focused on the former al-Nusra front. Uh, we're focused on Daesh, and that's where we're fighting, and that's where, therefore, we look and where we target. Uh, are we aware of their locations on the battlefield? Yeah, they're out there on the battlefield. We know that. But we're not focused on them. You know, we're focused on Daesh. I would just say, just as a quick follow-up, that your, your predecessor, Colonel Steve Warren, never shied away from calling out the Russians when he saw that they were bombing in areas where there were uh, 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 no uh, ISIL or other targets that, that the U.S. would consider legitimate targets. Uh, he, he mentioned that many times and often in his briefing. So uh, it sounds like you're not quite willing to go as far as the, your predecessor in uh, calling out the Russians when they're striking forces that might be forces backed by the United States. Well, first I'll tell you I'm taller than him. Clearly I'm not Steve Warren, I'm taller. Uh, second of all, I will tell you that I have mentioned myself in the past that we have seen Russians strike targets uh, that were, we did not think were Daesh. Uh, I specifically said uh, of the three targets that they said that they went to hit in Idlib, in Aleppo, and in Darzar, we see Daesh and Darzar. I didn't really think I needed to go any further than that to call that out, so, um, okay. I should make a boxing reference now if that's what you want right now. But uh, really, I'll just let it go at that and say I think we stated our position.